Okay, this young man has been with us before. He is a... Uh, Steve is a very funny young actor, comedian, and he's been on the show before. He'll be appearing at the Improvisation in Chicago the 19th of December through the 24th, and at Club 1407 in New York City the 1st uh, of December through the 3rd. Would you welcome, please, Steve Middleman. Steve. <laughs> Thank you very much. How are you? Thank you. I've never looked this good before in my life. Actually, I don't even look this good now. It's nice to be here. I was just back east. I'm from New York originally. Go Mets. I went to some kind of reunion, um, old neighborhood reunion. Everybody there, I realized, call me Middleman by my last name. And then I realized my whole life, people call me Middleman. Even my parents call me Middleman. <laughs> Dinner, Middleman. It was like a puppy, you know. I noticed there are last name guys and first name guys. Last name guys, Bob, Ted, Al. And there's last name guys like Manson. <laughs> Gaddafi. Picasso is a last name guy, right? He's probably picked last in sports like I was. Yeah, I'll take Picasso. <laughs> I always get stuck with Picasso. <laughs> Picasso, you don't even have to play, just sketch the game, okay? <laughs> and don't put both my eyes on the same side of my head again. <laughs> So, you know, when I was born, my father went to the maternity ward. He asked the nurse, which one's my son? She said, oh, you mean Middleman? <laughs> and there I was, wearing this suit. I was a hit baby. <laughs> I'm from a middle-class Jewish family. I went to Hebrew school, a very strict Hebrew school. We had nuns. <laughs> Our Lady of the Finkelsteins. <laughs> For confession, we'd say five Hail Sylvias. <laughs> you know what makes kosher meats kosher? They make the animals feel so guilty, they die. <laughs> Cows go, shoot me already. <laughs> Like most Jewish men, my main goal is to be mistaken for Italian. <laughs> Sinatra and I are like this. We're mistaken all the time. People come over to Frank and say, Middleman? <laughs> Last week, a lady came over to me. She said, you're Frank Sinatra. I said, lady, please. I said, live and breathe, Frank Sinatra. Thank you, but I'm not Sinatra. My whole life, Frank. I wanted to meet you, rip off your shirt, caress your chest, pull down your pants, bite on your thighs. I said, Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> she said, Middleman? <laughs> My brother in law's Italian. He's got one of those great Italian names with all the vowels. His name's Vinny A E I O U O. <laughs> The tough guy owns a funeral home. He knows who's coming in a week in advance. I told him I was going to be on the show. He said, break a leg in three places. He's a macho guy. He did one of those macho things. He shaved his head. Looked great. I did it. I looked like a giant thumb. Cars would stop. They thought I was hitching. I went cross country. I didn't even want to go. <laughs> Jewish people, I notice, sometimes have names with no vowels whatsoever. Sometimes you hear Jewish names like. <sighs> My mother goes, you know the hookers? <laughs> no, Mom, we never met. Mrs. Hook used to babysit me. 
No. Oh, don't you know, they, they used to live next door to the family. How do you spell that? C-H-C-H-C-H? Yeah, how'd you guess? I saw your personalized license plate. Why don't you buy a Val already? You said. Go on, Will of Fortune, Vanna, give him some vowels. So, you know what I did recently? I went to this Italian wedding. It was so gorgeous. I was so moved by the artwork and the stained glass windows, I, I went into confession. And I, I said, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Actually, I have been to confession in uh, 30 years. In fact, to tell you the truth, I'm Jewish. He said, middleman. Yeah. <laughs>